Hello. I've been working on painting Wild West minis to use with Dead Man's Hand, a skirmish war game by Great Escape Games. I'll also be using these for my own role-playing game, Tombstone Role-Playing in the Wild West. I picked up the Dead Man's Hand starter set sometime last year. It comes with three sprues that can each make five models. In total, there's 15 gunfighters. It also includes a rulebook, some custom playing cards for initiative and tactics, and a handy token sheet. I've backed Great Escape Games Redux set on Kickstarter, which includes the same models, but revamped rules as well as some plastic terrain. I'm really looking forward to receiving the terrain especially, as it adds so much to a table. To paint the gunfighters, I set myself a fairly strict two hour limit per model. I find this really helps with getting models done to a good tabletop standard, but not getting stuck in the weeds of perfectionism. To start, I assemble the models. While in theory, the bodies, arms and weapons should be pretty interchangeable, I found that I was left with some pretty unsightly gaps between the bodies and arms. I whipped up some milliput and filled the gaps. In some cases it wasn't perfect, but it should read okay once the paint job is complete. I then sprayed them with an undercoat of Citadel Grey Primer. This helps to seal the model and provide a good basis from which to work. It also gives me some core colour, as much of the clothing is either grey or black. It helps reduce the amount of painting needed. Each model was then based using Citadel's technical paint, Sterling Mud. Once this had dried, I applied a layer of PVA glue and sand. This volume was needed to hide the fact that the models sit quite highly on the base. The slight elevation created from the basing dealt with this nicely and created some nice visual interest and consistency across the models. Each model was then painted individually. One of the models, the Preacher, was metal. I bought this one separately. But you have to have a religious zealot in every convincing Wild West town. Someone who is willing to preach damnation and hellfire to the wayward and the drunken. And I think he turned out well. As I mentioned in the intro, I'll be using these models in my Wild West RPG tombstone. I wrote these rules in 2015. They're available for free on DriveThruRPG. If you're interested in a rules light, fast paced and lethal RPG, this might be for you. I know for me and my friends, we've played a lot of this over the years. It was a really fun game to write. It's a really fun game to play. So here they are completed. I'm happy with how the first five look. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they look great on the table and they're well worth the two hours each that I put into painting them. I'm looking forward to gaming with them.